Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain you an easy method to find the rank of any 3 into 3 matrix. By using this method you can find the rank of any matrix within seconds. It is very useful for GATE, IES and PSE exam where the time is very important. So now we are going to the method directly. It is basically a two step method. The first step is when you are getting a matrix find its determinant. So if you are getting a non-zero determinant, which means that the determinant of the matrix is non-zero, then the rank of the matrix is 3. Clear? The problem is solved at this stage itself. If you are getting a zero determinant, then you have to go to step number 2. So what is step number 2? Let us see. Take any 2 into 2 sub matrix and find its determinant. Then if you are getting a non-zero at least one non-zero 2 into 2 mat sub matrix with determinant non-zero then the rank is 2 but if you are getting all the sub matrix with determinant equal to 0 then the rank is 1 ok I hope you understand what is the concept is now we are going to try it in some examples let us see the example the first example is a equal to 1 2 3 1 2 1 and 2 1 2 so the first step is find the determinant of a we know how to find the determinant and we will get the determinant as minus 6 so it is a non-zero determinant so the rank of the matrix is 3 it is clear the problem is solved now we will try with an another example consider a matrix b 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 4 6 we will find the determinant of b it is 0 so it is means that the b is having a zero determinant so it the rank of the matrix is not 3 it may be 2 or 1 so we need to go to step number 2 what is step number 2 we have to find the 2 into 2 sub matrix and find their determinant so what are the sub matrices a sub matrix can be obtained by deleting one row and column okay you will get the 2 into 2 sub matrix so what are the different possibilities this is one possibility this is another this is another and this is another you can have different possibilities by deleting other rows and columns also S okay now I'm going to uh, take find the determinant of each one it is upper left one that is 1 2 1 2 the determinant is 0 then the right one 2 3 2 1 the determinant we will get as minus 4 and next one 1 2 2 4 that is 0 then next one 2 1 4 6 that is 8 when you are getting at least 1 2 into 2 sub matrix with non-zero determinant you can write it as the rank of the matrix is 2 so in this method you got that rank of the 2 into 2 mat determinant of the at least 1 2 into 2 matrix is non-zero so the rank of the matrix is 2 now the problem is solved again there may be a chance that all the 2 into 2 sub matrix will having 0 determinant we will discuss that case also so this is example 3 a equal to 1 2 3 2 4 6 and 1 2 3 so we will find the determinant of a you will get it as 0 then determinant of any 2 into 2 sub matrix of a is also 0 we will check it so the first one that is upper left one 1 2 2 4 determinant is 0 2 3 4 6 that's also 0 2 4 1 2 that's also 0 2 4 6 2 3 that is also 0 if you are trying to find out other sub matrix by deleting rows and columns you will find you will get the same result all the sub matrix will have 0 determinant in that case the determinant of the mat the rank of the matrix is 1 ok now the problem is solved so I hope you understand what is the method the method I will describe it again first step find the determinant of the matrix if it is non-zero then rank is 3 if determinant is 0 take any 2 into 2 matrix and find its determinant if the determinant of at least 1 2 into 2 matrix is non-zero then rank is 2 if you are getting all the 2 into 2 matrix sub matrix having determinant 0 then the rank is 1 ok this is applicable for all non-zero matrices which means that all matrices with at least one element as non-zero okay I hope you understand the lecture you will it will be very useful for you in future thank you for watching thank you